This fight was most definitely rigged. Here's some evidence you might have missed. Tyson was doing fantastic at the beginning, landing some big shots and knocking Jake around the ring. But that changed when Paul clenched with Tyson. It's alleged he whispered into Tyson's ear to cool it, and the message was confirmed received by Tyson with the affirming tap on the back. After that moment, Tyson became a stick in the mud, standing directly in front of Paul with no more aggressiveness to him. Like here, for instance, Tyson can see the right hand plain as day and makes no attempt to slip it. It's not the fight we needed, but it was a fight that we deserved. You know, I don't know what any of us hope to see out of this. You know, this is kind of exactly how really we should have known it was going to play out. But taking a look at this example right here, we can see that we probably did see that right hand coming. And yes, he's 58 years old, but Tyson's trained boxing his entire life. We've seen clips of him training where he is absolutely still explosive, still powerful. And this is not the same guy, not the same reaction speed we expect to get out of him. This is still relatively early in the fight. Another thing to consider here too is not only does Jake Paul have an opening here, which Tyson should see and react to that right hand. You know, Jake Paul's got both hands away from his face right here. So he's open to either that, that left hook or that right hand, you know, so it's a big, huge opening for Mike to expose, but you know, he doesn't take advantage of it. My next reason is Tyson was definitely pulling his punches. Tyson looked as if he was struggling to hold back and not throw punches at Paul. Here's a perfect example. Tyson deflects the shot off his shoulder, comes up in perfect position to land a counter right hand, but does nothing. Very uncharacteristic. There's Conor McGregor that said, and timing beats, beats speed and precision beats power. So this is a great example of Tyson's ability to use his experience and see an opening to exploit something like that, that right hand down the middle. If you've done any kind of striking, you know that's absolutely true in terms of the, the timing portion of it. So a lot of times working with a, a more experienced boxer or a striker, it's not so much that they're significantly faster, it's just that their timing is so good and they understand the ranges that they're able to capitalize on those senses and it seems like they're being really fast. So to think that Mike didn't have an opening to throw that, that punch off of that shot, I mean, come on. So this is the whole thing about boxing to, you know, those that are, that are younger viewers really starting to get into combat sports for the first time would be surprised that, you know, a, a official event, state sanctioned event could possibly be rigged. But one thing you have to consider is that is the history of boxing. You know, if you haven't been exposed to guys like Don King and the history that, that goes into boxing, and you can see he's had multiple investigations. He's been sued by Tyson. He's been sued by Lennox Lewis. Uh, he's been sued by Chris Bird. And my final reason is Tyson biting his glove. The reason he was doing this was to remind himself not to throw punches and let Jake control the pace. Was this fight a fake? Let me know in the comments. We can even talk about the contract. There are stipulations, or so we're told, where if Tyson was to end the fight too early, he's going to receive a significantly reduced payout, which in itself isn't necessarily atypical, but you can see that really there is no impetus for Tyson to want to go ahead and finish that fight early, right? The longer he drags it out is the bigger the payday. And at 58 years old, he doesn't have too many V significant paydays left. So why would you? I mean, let's be honest, how many of us would not take a chance for 20 to 40 million dollars after merchandise and everything set out the door. You know, I think we have got to be a little bit honest. I mean, I, I certainly would, right? Put on the health show for 40 million dollars. But that's my thoughts. It's going to be a short one today. Just go ahead and leave your comments below. It's alleged he whispered into Tyson's ear to cool it. And the message was confirmed received by Tyson with the affirming tap on the back.